So, EA dropped the 86 plus Winter Wildcard FC versus or Team of the Year HM player pick. Let's open up a bunch of these and see what we get. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Ultimate Team coins, check out MMOEXP.com. Link in the description, save 5% using code HABER. I know what you're thinking. Weren't these already out? Well, they kind of were. They were 87 plus one of threes. Now they're 86 plus one of fours. Don't understand why EA have to drop the rating to give us an extra player. It really makes no sense to me. With that being said, let's see if they're better than the 87 pluses that we had last week. Brilliant. Well, that would have been good if I didn't already have Kim Min Jae. I'm going to take Grimaldo because he's the highest rated. Not a great start. We're going to have to go and hopefully get some better cards. I've also built 285 plus picks on my account to open. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new around here as it just massively helps out the channel and I'm really grateful to everyone that does. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys get in your 86 plus campaign picks. Two 85 plus picks now. I'm going to take Kamara because I'll put him into uh, an 84 times 5. And the second one... Oh, that's annoying. Do you know what? I'll take IU as well. That's at least 284 times 5 I can complete there. All right, we have got Nick's 86 plus campaign player pick now. Let's see what Nick gets. Hopefully better than mine. Because out of all these ones we've opened, I've never seen like a Rashford or a Neymar. So that'd be pretty nice. We can get one of those. What are we saying here? He's on the Xbox as well, by the way, which is why we're, uh, we're looking over here. All right, here we go. Come on. Trent's not terrible, to be fair. Trent's actually all right. Um, haven't seen many of the f ice tellers. I've seen a few fire tellers. Uh, Trent is, I'd say, a small W. All right, we've got Lala's campaign or maybe scampaign pick. We haven't decided yet. Uh, oh, Casemiro. That is class. I'm jealous, actually. I'm very jealous. That is nice. I'm only jealous because I'm mean, United fan and want him in my club. I actually don't think he's that expensive anymore. He's about 120, 130k. The card's probably not even that great in game, but I just want him untradeable, man. All right, George has sent us a video to react to here. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to be reacting to, um, but there is a clip to watch. So let's see what. Uh, let's see what George has sent us here. All right, he's got himself a fantasy FC card. Dutch Cam. Ooh. Oh. I thought it was Martens. He's got Schneider. Oh, mad. That's crazy. Oh, GG, George. That's nuts. I thought he'd got Martens, the PSG cam. He's actually got Wesley Schneider. That's crazy. All right. We have two 85 plus picks and an 86 campaign pick on my second account now. Ooh. Oh, it's Pedro Porro again. I'm just taking Kavaya Skellia. I'm just going to take Kavicha. Second one now. Neymar. Now, EA... Would not mind if Neymar's in this pick right here, all right? You've given me Neymar one pick too early. Come on. Neymar in this pick, please. Rafinha. That's actually not too bad, to be fair. That card's decent. Is he still expensive? That is a good one to get. 200k-ish? Oh, 100k-ish now. That's still not a bad card, to be fair. I'm quite happy with that. Rafinha's a quite a rare one, too. So, absolutely will take that. Neymar and Rafinha, look at that. We've got two Trickster Pluses for each wing. Perfect. All right, next 86 plus campaign pick. So far, I think, has the best card been that Rafinha? If so, it's not been a great start. Mukiele. Doku. Ooh. Oh, wow. It, how expensive is that card? I mean, it's not the future stars. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not the future stars. It's not going to be... It's still about 200k. The future stars is still 1.6 million, to be fair. But yeah, about 200k will take that. Rex is very happy with that too. So that's all right. That is solid. All right, we've got a pick in a pack now, or a few picks in a pack for um, for Tunkanamon now. So 285 plus picks first. Brother, Pedro Porro, like, he is in so many of these, specifically these 85 plus picks. It's really weird, but he's so common in just the 85 plus picks. I don't see him packed that often in other stuff, but the 85 plus picks, he's always there. It's it's odd. I don't understand why. That being said, to be honest, these have not been too bad so far, the 81 plus picks. I need to build like 100 of these and just open them and see what they're like. Um, take Thiago Silva. Last 81 plus pick. I mean, 284s and 86 so far has been all right. It's actually not been too bad. Now for the 86 plus campaign pick, what we say, ADA? Come on. Well then, I mean, yeah, that's uh, that's not fun. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, open up the pack as well. EA man, come on! Why are these, like, these campaign picks, these like specific packs, 
they just do not pay out ever, do they? All right, my boy Crash has got 285 plus picks and then this campaign pick. Mate, I'm telling you what, Pe Pedro Porro is in all of these. It's so weird, man. It is so odd. All right, here we go. Cobell or Odegaard. I mean, it's 87 rated follow at the end of the day. Here we go. Come on, big one. Big 86 plus right here, please. Kunde, Balde as well. Kunde's all right though. We'll take that. Kunde's solid. All right. 85 plus pick and the 86 plus pick for Frazier on the Xbox now as well. What we say, EA? Can we get our first like huge W out of the 86 plus campaign? That's what I'm hoping for. Fingers crossed. Uh, 81 plus is going to be trippier. That's all right from an 81 plus. You take the 85. Now for the 85 plus, is Pedro Porro going to be there? No, no Pedro Porro. Got informed Kamara this time. So Pedro Porro plus 85 plus, which is odd, which might mean we've got something good here. No, apparently not. Brilliant. Cool. All right, we have got Dan the Gunas campaign pick next. Kamavinga. Wait, is that good? I'll be honest with you. Seeing a French left back from Real Madrid, I, like I see dollar signs in my head. I actually don't think he's that good, is he? He's not that expensive, is he? I thought for a second, like, you're just so used to Furl and Mendy being super expensive that you just assume that he's going to be expensive as well. But the, the left back coming in, about 140k. It's not bad at all, to be fair. But it's not like Furl and Mendy. All right, we've got a new store pack today. We've got the Supreme Halftime Encore pack. The names are so weird. But we'll start off with the Heroic Halftime player pick. Can we get a good fantasy hero EA, please? Absolutely not. We got ourselves Melito at UCL. That was terrible. Fair enough. Store that in the club. Maybe it's saving the luck for the new store pack. Who knows? Um, let's have a look. So 600k pack. You get five guaranteed radioactive ultimate dynasty, team of the group stage, FC versus or winter wildcards, including icons. I'll be honest with you. This is probably actually not going to be that good because those promos are almost all out of date now. But we'll see. We'll see if we can get some good stuff. There are one or two cards that are still very, very good in this, by the way. But, yeah. I think a lot of these are actually out of date. Like, Raquel May's not great. We do get a double winter wildcard icon, though. Um, but, you know, Raquel May's not amazing, for example. Gary Lineker, no one really cares about either. We're hoping, behind that, we can get decent team of the group stage. Or, you know, winter wildcard Van Dijk or Ronaldo or something. Um, we'll see. Let's find out. I don't think... I think they're all all dupes then, I guess. Oh, there you go. I mean, it's, again, bad. Not great at all. Get ourselves Fire Gakpo. Could not care less about this card. 20k. Fire Renard. Could not care less about this card. Raspadori. That being said... Oh, we got Ian Matson in the dupes. That being said, right? You're probably like, why are you complaining? That? Why'd you open them if you couldn't care less? I just, for the content, all right? I just, wanted to, I just wanted to do it for the content. I wanted, to, I wanted to see what it's like, all right? Just so you guys don't have to do it. To do a thorough test, we're going to open it on the second account and see what we get. We'll do the heroic halftime pick first on the second account and see what we get on this. Double fantasy heroes. I mean, Mascherano's okay. At least this card can upgrade. It's based on FC Barcelona. He needs to win two games and score 11 goals. They started off with a 0-0 against Athletic Bilbao. So, not the best of starts. But, I'll take it anyway. Definitely better than getting a UCL uh, Melito, right? Now, the uh, Supreme Halftime Encore Pack. Let's see what we get. Let's see what our five special cards in this pack are. We've got ourselves John Barnes Winter Wild Card and a radioactive card behind that. Got to be messy, why not? Give us a radioactive messy EA, why not? Ooh, Radioactive Valverde. That's not bad, actually. That's actually really good. I don't know what rating the rest of the cards in this pack will be. Ooh, okay. Well, I mean, I'm saying, ooh, I don't know. So Valverde is worth like 600k. So that's very good, right? That is very good. We've got Orban, Ayazabal, Gunter, and Wijnaldum. So the rest of the pack's pretty bad. But... That being said, two fantasies and Valverde, that isn't terrible, in fairness. Like, that's actually that's actually a W, in my opinion. Store pack Bonanza, let's go. We just want fantasy heroes, don't we? I'm going to go ahead and skip it. I don't care. Fodder actually is nice. I need to fill the club up with fodder, so this is good, actually. 
Oh, okay. No, no fantasy cards. Maybe a dupe. Wow. No fantasy cards at all. Wow. What the heck? All right. 400k pack now. What are we saying? You know what? I've not, I've not packed an icon in a long time. Just like a bog standard icon from a normal pack. Not packed one in ages. I've had some guaranteed icons, but that's about it. And I mean, guaranteed... Oh, Dabala. That's interesting. Guaranteed icons are cop-outs, you know? Really? Not on a fantasy card? What were the percentages of these? I don't really look. Oh, there you go. She's hiding at the back. But I didn't look at the percentages of these, but now it's kind of bad, isn't it? And now for the Deluxe Fantasy FC pack. This one's tradable. So we want something good here, please. Yeah, let's go. Fantasy card. French. Centre mid. Ooh, could be a double walkout. Ooh, hello. Oh, wait, hang on. Or ban. I thought that might have been Kamara and Lima Lou then. I thought it'd be quite funny if that was the case. Um, the little double breast to our centre mids. But that's not bad. Couple informs. Solid. Uh, there you go. It actually was. It actually was. That's so funny. Look at that. Nice. All right. Fair enough. That's actually a good tradable pack. All right. A couple 85 plus player picks and an 87 plus player pick now for Rex. Inform Benteke is probably the best pick there. Shout out Benteke's. Uh, second 85 plus pick. 88 or black. At least you get a walkout. You know. Now the 87 times 3 uh, campaign pick. Ooh, Kunde. Not bad, actually. Take Jules Kunde. That's solid. Again, quite rare. I really don't see a whole lot of Kundes, to be honest. All right. Two more 85 plus picks and the 87 campaign pick. Don't know why I went so high pitched for that. Uh, in form, Marquinhos would have been nice last week. Um, and Pedro Porro. Not a terrible 85 plus pick right there. I've not even opened these on my main account yet. Although you'll probably see my main account before. I don't know how the video is going to work in terms of chronological order. So, yeah, apologies. Uh, 88 Bernardo Silva. Not bad. Now the campaign pick. Okay, yeah, we get it. He's a Man City player and we lost. Great. Here we go. Come on. Pretty bad. All right. Two more 85 plus picks and an 87 plus pick. Shock. Here we go. Bruno Fernandes. Next one's going to be Pedro Porro. We'll take it. At least you don't already have him. We'll take that. Solid. At least it's a fantasy card there. He is worthless, pretty much. Like, discard. But, you know, not the end of the world. And then... I mean, Renard's worth a tiny bit. You know what I mean? She's still, she's okay. It's just not that exciting. All right, we've got my 285 plus picks and my 87 plus pick as well. 85 plus numero uno. We'll take inform, are you? Why not? Put her inform in the club. Second one now. Cobell, fair enough. All right, I've not really had too much of a choice here. 87 plus campaign pick now. What are we saying? The double Gunther. The double Gunther player pick. I'm going to take Ice Rodetsky. That's awful, man. Those campaign packs are terrible. All right, we're ripping these on the second account now. What are we saying? 87 Beth Mead. Hmm. At least we'll take the... Uh... At least we'll take the uh, the walkout there. At least we've got double walkouts. All right, it's campaign pick numero something or other. Alaba. Mm. It's a small... It's a, it's a very, 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 very lowercase w at best. All right, 85 plus pick and 87 plus campaign pick. What we say, an 85 plus pick first. Another Pedro Porro. He's very common in these, isn't he? Very common. Pedro Porro loves to show up in the 85 plus picks. All right. Timo Courtois is okay. He's, you know, he's not as common. It's quite a fun card, but aside from that, it's not it's not insane, is it? All right, 87 plus pick. Here we go. The Arby's okay. It's not not terrible. Has this one got five-star skills? No, it's not. Uh, it's not terrible. That could be a lot worse, actually. So we'll take that. That's all right. All right, George's 85 plus pick and the Scampane pick. We've got ourselves to Stegen's not bad in the 85 plus pick. That's all right. Now for the Scampain pick, what we say. Bernardo Silva's actually okay. That, I think you've done all right there. I think you've done okay. All right, my boy Wizard's got the 87 plus Future Stars pick and also a store pack to open up. Elise's not terrible, actually. Elise's quite fun. You've got Harvey Elliott there as well. Um, I would pick Elise. I think you've got five-star skills as well. I think I'd pick Elise there. But obviously, Harvey Elliott's higher rated. I don't know. That's a tough one. That is a tough one. He's going to pick Elise. Fair enough. I'd have picked Elise as well. He's also... The fact that Elise is six foot two it actually makes it quite fun to use that card. He just bullies people. So, yeah, that's quite fun. Uh, I think he's got a store pack to open as well. Um, so, let's see what the store pack has in store. 3,100 points. 
Which store pack is he opening? That's the question. He's opening up the 2000 FC point pack. Let's see what he gets. He's got himself an inform. He's got himself inform Vlahovic. Is this a double walkout inform as well? Nice. Go on, Virgil van Dijk. Why not? Decent chance, to be fair. There's not that many 88 or higher informs this week. Sadly, it was not Virgil van Dijk. It's Dybala, though. Cheeky uh, <laughs> Juve past and present inform double walkout. We want to see... Ooh, Rafinha in there as well. Nice. That's actually really good. FC cards? Mm, no FC fantasy cards unless there's one of the dupes. No, there's not. Fair enough. Though. That's actually not bad at all. One Von 87 plus WWE slash versus slash team of the year EE. EE. What we say in EA? Come on. Let me see Mbappe. Or Vinny Jr.? Ice, ice, baby. All right. Crass is cooking. 285 plus picks and an 87 plus campaign pick. Hopefully something good here. 88 Bruno Fernandes. Inform Benteke, who he just submitted into it. Got him back. Nice. Um, he submitted to this campaign, that is. All right, here we go. Ooh, not bad. Courtois or Kim and Jay. I haven't seen either of those that much, to be fair. We saw one Courtois earlier. That's okay. It's a bit, bit, bit more fun. All right, another campaign pick. For my boy, Mr. Wizard. What are we saying? Another scam. 